Hi guys and welcome back to another video game with powers. I'm Jake. I'm Sierra. And in today's video, we are gonna be unboxing this game called Dream World. All right, this is an unconscious mind card game from Johnny Pack. Uh, art by Andrew Bosley and Vincent Dutre. This was a additional add-on of a game that is um, affiliated with the that Unconscious Mind board game that we unboxed sometime last week. So as you guys recall, we did not crack that open. We waited to do our own separate unboxing for this. So let's go ahead and jump down to the table and check this out and see what we think about this little game. All right, guys. So down here at the table, we got the Dream World, an Unconscious Mind card game. Let's see what this bad boy says let's zoom in a little bit more so it says as a follower of freud's theories of the unconscious mind your goal is to help people recover from their psychological traumas you can foster each client's healing potential by interpreting the symbolism of their dreams at the start of a round each player chooses a dream card and simultaneously reveals it next they arrange the cards numerically besides the current client the difference between your card's number and the next determines how many treatment tokens you may score the bigger the gap, the better. If you are the first to score all of your tokens, you win. All right, cool little introduction to this game. So let's see what this bad boy is all about. They got some tokens here on the back, it looks like. Uh, artwork on the box is nice. Pretty cool, trippy artwork. What do you think, Sierra? Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> I, I can't actually see it that well. She, she's definitely. <laughs> you can tell she's interested in this one. <laughs> she's I like, am, but your hands are in the way. <laughs> uh, th this is another 23-page rule book. No, it's not. It's they, too little. They managed to make a 23-page uh, rule book. No, this small. <laughs> uh, oh, I see how what you were saying yeah. about tokens. I was trying to figure out what you meant because okay. I couldn't tell that that was tokens. Uh, so we got some tokens here that oh, we'll sorry. show you guys. She stole them. Uh, we got some tokens here uh, that came with the game on the back of it. Uh, there's like the little back side of it. Uh, also has it on the back there. Um, so these are going to be your player tokens. See is going to bust open the box. Is that like a magnetic box? Oh yeah, yeah. I should it probably. I almost got. It. Show it off to people. So, cool little magnetic box here. The lid right there. If I can, oh, same thing. I struggled with her. There we go. Right there. Uh, this is a game for one to four players. By the way, 22, 30 minutes and 12 plus. So uh, let's get this bad boy open. And they had like a cool little um, side panel there. That was cool. Here's the rule book. Let's see how many pages. Look, see, I told you, 20 pages in the rule book. Uh, 15 pages. Yeah, and they're like, that, that's really a quarter of a normal page. <laughs> so uh, that is the rule book here. 15 pages, small little rule book. Uh, it's got everything that you're gonna need to play the game. And then basically the components. Uh, not a whole lot of components in the game. Ooh, look at these little fishies. Oh, I like the inside of the box. Pretty. All right, so this is a very small game for sure. A uh, little, we got some little uh, baggies here for the tokens, and then we just have a bunch of cards. So, Sierra, you want to open these? Sure. I'll crack this rule book open, and we can go over the component list here. So, we are going to have 66 dream cards. Uh, there's going to be three different suits, each with two sets of numbers one through 11 here. Uh, you'll have six client cards, one Freud card, four professor cards. You have your professor token and treatment tokens as well. So let's go ahead and show off some of these dream cards. Uh, Sierra, we can just uh, go through the client cards here. So those are some of the client cards, very reminiscent of Unconscious Mind. These are some of the dream cards, and I think that some of these actually do, I think these are copies of, I remember some of these being in the uh, actual game of Unconscious Mind. So I wonder if some of these are, cause you remember this guy right here? Yeah, like kind the of. fruit face guy? Yeah. Like I remember the goblin guy, I remember him, uh, the f butterfly ship. So I think these are all just copies of the dream cards from the board game, Unconscious Minds. All right, you can see they have numbers up there in the top left. Yeah, I remember that guy. Um, the fire horse. Fire horse. Yeah, so copies all the dream cards the giant koala bear whatever um 
from unconscious mind all right guys well look that is pretty much it very short and sweet i'm curious to see how this one is going to play but this is definitely a cool little game uh, i think this was only like 12 or 15 bucks as an add-on uh, to the actual game but actually i should probably put this uh other thing back on here this little top but uh yeah i saw this and i saw it was a card game associated with it it looked kind of unique and cool so i figured why not for only like 12 or 15 more bucks all right guys let's go ahead and jump up top and let's hear our thoughts on this one all right sierra so we have dream world right here the card game basically a spinoff here i don't even know if you consider it a spinoff more like an extension of the board game Unconscious Mind. What are your thoughts and opinions on it um, so far based on what you've seen? Uh, I'm very excited to try this game. It definitely is more of my style game. Um, for one, I love card games, but for two, smaller, shorter games tend to be more in my realm. Um, and I'm interested to see it. I love the artwork. We already said that in the first one. Um, they still look awesome. They don't have that sheen or what mm -hmm. was it called the foil, foil. The they don't foil. have the foil the other ones did but they still look amazing um but it i have no idea how you actually play or how what kind of card game it is so i am interested to see i got a little distracted when you're reading that yeah i'm curious <laughs> i'm curious to see uh how different it is we have not got unconscious mind to the table yet which is something that we need to do um so we have not got it to the table so we do not know how unconscious mind plays but i'm curious to see if there are any similarities between this and the unconscious mind now obviously i think the big difference right off the bat with this one it says uh you will arrange the cards numerically obviously the cards have numbers i don't recall the cards in unconscious mind having numbers on them they very well could be and it could be the exact same thing but uh yeah i'm just really interested to see how like the client cards look the same. The dream cards obviously mirror that from the original game. I'm just curious to see how similar this is to actual unconscious mind or if there are some differences because like, like you said, like this is more of a your style type game where like unconscious mind is something that I like, but I also don't really like the heavy, heavy games. Um, all the time so like if this plays almost the same it'd be like huh i, wonder I don't think they'd play too similar, similar because yeah. unconscious mind's gonna be so much more detailed correct like so many more components things going on things to track and keep up with versus this oh, seems obviously. very very like yeah like a sim i wonder I if this is like a dumbed down but like stream, simplified. simplified version of yeah like a streamlined simplified simplified version of the game all right guys well look those are uh sierra's thoughts and opinions those are my kind of curiosities and see so we got a lot of games that we still have yet to get to the table we got a lot of games we still have to unbox and of course i say it every time but we still got a lot of games that are coming in so thankfully for me uh cross country season is over with so i got some time but unfortunately for her football season is starting to get very very uh heavy. at least a month hopefully yeah. still to go yeah uh football season is starting to ramp up for her so like unfortunately as my season winds down hers is starting to ramp up so uh we'll see what we can do guys to get some of these games to our table and i'm hoping to jump her into some more of these uh first impression videos uh because i know some of you guys would love to hear her comments on some of our first experience playing some of these games i gave the as biggest eye roll <laughs> look i'm trying to get her more involved i'm trying to get her more involved the people want to see her um but all right guys as always if you are enjoying if you enjoy our content please help us out smash that like button hit that notification bell guys we got content trying to come out every monday wednesday and friday and as always if you are not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and subscribe so we can continue to bring more awesome content to you all right guys have a great one bye bye